Good morning. Time to finish the uh, plumbing project on the on the uh, Argosy. Um, I'm finishing up the inside part of the plumbing with PEX pipe, and I thought it might be fun to give you a quick little tour of how PEX pipe works. Uh, some of you will be familiar with it, but it's really lovely stuff. <laughs> When you consider uh, that you know, uh, sweating, soldering copper was the norm up, up until relatively recently, and then uh, there seems to be this plethora of these push-type fittings that you know are just sort of toolless stuff. It, 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 I, I just can't believe that with PEX being so simple to use, anyone would use anything else. But anyway, it's basically a plastic pipe that fits over the individual fittings and is crimped with a little steel ring, stainless steel ring actually, and. Um, I'll show you how it works. It's really, really easy. Basically, I'm just going to cut myself off a little bit of working pipe. Do not try to cut this pipe with a Stanley knife, Wolf knife, etc. Uh, you will have an accident. It's very hard to cut that way. Even though the blade is technically very sharp, it will uh, it will slip on you and bad things will happen. Uh, ask me why I know. Get one of these. Awesome. Slip. Piece of cake. Okay. So basically, the pipe just fits over the fitting like that. Then we'll take this handy dandy crimping tool, which basically has two very sharp jaws that fit over a little nub on the ring. Basically, the ring is a stainless steel loop. Oh, this is a used one. No good there. Fits over a little nub on the ring. And if you can see there, I can actually tighten it ever so slightly to the first click, and it'll hold it, which I find really handy. And then just slide it over the pipe. In some cases, if you're working where you've already got the other pipe on, you can't do this. But anyway, leave it about uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch from the end and just close it. And what it's done now, it's crimped that little nub and tightened the stainless steel ring around this absolutely bulletproof. It's just, it's just amazing stuff. Hi, right, just another tip on the PEX. Um, of course, it comes off the roll curved. Um, because of course it's rolled and it's basically likes to hold that form But it's a very special kind of plastic that if you bend it very gently make sure you don't kink it um, You actually can form a new shape You can feel it getting warm as you do it and if you hold it in that position while it's warm until it cools again It basically will keep any shape you put it in mind you within reason I mean I'm looking for something fairly straight for the run I'm doing now um, but you can put S-curves in it, you can bend it remarkably tight. Just be careful to do it in the small, small sections. And to get it good and warm, flex it back and forth a few times. That gets it nice and warm and that's what basically does it. I've actually heated it with a torch if I'm really desperate, but that's a little much. When you're trying to straighten or bend something, you'll notice you can't really straighten the ends very well because you can't grab them very well to get them curved. So unless you want that little curve at the end, cut your pipe always about two inches too long. And then when you cut the ends off after you've formed your straight section, you have a nice straight pipe to work with. Cheers, we're almost done. So we're done, awesome. I'm loving this. Hot water, cold water, and it can rattle just a little bit. I have a little rattle water hammer in the back there from one of the pipes rattling against something from the, from the pump, but I can easily deal with that. Anyway, I'm really pleased, nice new tap. Awesome, it's gonna pull out. <coughs> And it's one of the ones that doesn't come back on a weight. You actually put it in and O-rings hold it in place, which I really like. Oh, lovely tap. I have a matching one for the bathroom and the shower. Anyway, cheers. Okay, so now we got the bathroom. Um, I don't know how much of a project it's going to be, seeing as I'm not too concerned about keeping any of it in decent condition. Um, I'm going to save a few bits, like um, door handles and stuff like that, because there may be... Uh, Air team or Argosy people out there who need that stuff, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm just really curious to see what the floor is going to be like under here because it's been wet many, many, many times, so I suspect it's going to be pretty bad. Anyway, bye bye bathroom. Well, here we got the uh, wardrobe out or whatever you call this cabinet. It's actually quite amazing how crooked everything is in here um, and kind of how crudely it's all been put together with screws at funny angles. And, Anyway, I shouldn't really complain. It's a lovely trailer. Anyway, this is, I don't know if you have enough light down here. The sort of incredible complex series of drain down plumbing Argosy's come with. Perhaps Airstreams too. And uh, that'll all be going, of course. The uh, infamous Univolt, uh, which I'm not using anymore because I'm using a, uh, I have a dedicated charger inverter 
that I'm using. Anyway, I would say it's going pretty well. Except I'm trying to be as cautious with everything as possible, but it's still kind of a pain. Well, really, this isn't actually going all that badly. Um, I've taken all the rivets out of this, I think. I can just... Ah, there. Not too badly. Excellent. Oh my god, this is light. I think my new countertop is going to be substantially heavier than that. Oh well. Um, nice little support they give it, so it's good and strong. Uh, so let's see what else we have here. Oh god, what a mess. I think this might be a little bit of just yanking. Yep. Nothing here is really very happy. Okay, let's see about this tank. I've already... Oh, that was easy. Well, you can see why it was failed. Some desperate person had tried to glue this over the years. Yeah. This is a... Oh, it's also cracked here. Basically scuppered. And tiny. We're glad to be done with it. Well, we got it all out and cleaned out. The linoleum was glued to the floor, so there's no pulling that up, at least not immediately. Anyway, it's a massive space. I mean, if you only wanted a single bed, this would make a lovely bedroom just as it is. But, um, nope, gotta stick with the plan. So really, the only nasty rot, I mean, this, that might be soft and that might be soft, was really in this corner underneath the univolt, which surprises me because, well, I guess there was a water leak in one of the copper lines there. Um, but, uh, so that'll be a little bit of repair to do, but not too bad. Now, just got to clean it up and uh, start working on the rear hatch. I'm going to make a, um, like a trunk for the trailer. And uh, so it'll have a rear hatch from outside. So the first half of underneath the rear bed, which is going to go back here, uh, will be a locker from the outside. So that's really the, uh, the next goal. Well, cleaning it is the next goal and letting it dry out and see how bad the floor is. Anyway, cheers. Well, I've just got the furnace out. Um, I'll show you in a minute why I'm taking it out. Well, I'm pretty sure it leaks through the combustion chamber, but I can't really confirm that in place. So I want to take it out, take it out, and uh, sort of bench test it. Plus, it's a beast. If I can figure out another heating system, and I have a few ideas in mind, um, there is a huge amount of extra storage and, uh, well, weight liberated. Oh, God, it's heavy. That and the Univolt, two good things to get rid of today. Love it. See ya. Okay, so I'll show you the real reason I had to get this uh, heater out of here. I've been using this heater up until a couple of weeks ago. And it had that kind of propane -y smell. Like, is that combustion propane -y smell or raw propane -y smell? Well, look at this fitting. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but uh, that fitting was completely split. And... Uh, yeah, I was hissing propane into the trailer. Got up the uh, up the safety ante around here. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Cheers. Hi, if you've enjoyed this Airstream video, click at the top and you'll go to the next uh, video in the series. If you click the middle link, you'll end up with the uh, playlist of all the Airstream videos and the bottom link will take you to the next regular Travels with Jordy video. As always, thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please comment um, and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.